everyone and hello once again YouTube. This is Mia, your daily broadcaster, signing back here again to give you the latest news and updates on your favorite tokens. Now for today, we'll give you the price analysis for the day November 16. But before we go to that article guys, I would just like to invite you all to join us with this new Initiative Q program. Now here, Initiative Q is an attempt by ex PayPal guys to create um, a new payment system instead of the existing old credit card system that was designed way back in the 1950s. The system uses its own currency called the Q and to get people to start using the system once it's ready they are allocating queues for free to people like you who sign up now now the amount drops later as more and more people join so it's better for you to join now while it's free and it's still early now signing up to initiative queue is completely free and they only ask for your name and an email address there's nothing to lose but if this payment system becomes a world-leading payment method, your queues can be worth a lot. So guys, if you missed getting Bitcoin 7 years ago, you wouldn't want to miss this one. Now, here is your special limited invite link in the description below. Click it now and don't get left behind on this one and join us with this new initiative queue program. Alright, so moving forward guys. We'll go to the article about our favorite tokens. Now, this is the price analysis for November 16. Here. Bitcoin saw its third worst drop of 2018 on November 14 as it broke down to new year-to-date lows. In doing so, it broke through the critical support of $5,900, which had helped throughout the year. Prior to the breakdown, Bitcoin had entered a period of low volatility not seen in years. We were expecting the resolution of the tight range in cryptocurrencies to be to the upside, hence our bias was on the long side. However, with the fall, the technical picture had weakened, and our assumption was given or was proven wrong. We need to reassess our strategy in this new backdrop. Interestingly, not all cryptocurrencies have followed Bitcoin to new year-to-date lows. There are a few that have held out quite well. Ripple has overtaken Ethereum as the second most valuable cryptocurrency in terms of market capitalization. So there are some bright spots even in this mayhem. Bitcoin Cash has completed its fork without any major incident, however, as it is still in its early days, we have skipped analyzing either coin today. After the recent fall, how should traders approach the markets? Is it time to step aside and wait? Or do some cryptocurrencies offer a buying opportunity? Let's study at the charts and find out. Now let's go to the first one. Bitcoin. Bitcoin plunged below the support of $5,900 on November 14 to an intraday low of $5,737.02. The closing of the day was at $5,932.75, which shows buying near the lows. Nevertheless, the bears continued their selling the next day plummeting prices further to $5,430.02, which was just below the support at $5,450. Some buying was seen again at the lower levels as the digital currency recovered lost ground and closed at $5,747.05. The pullback from the intraday lows in the past two days shows that the lower levels are attracting buying. This points to a retest of the breakdown level of $5,900 in the next 4-5 to five days. In the performance of the Bitcoin to USD pair at the $5,900 levels will give us a better idea on what to expect. If the bulls easily break out and sustain above $5,900, 
then this current fall will be a fake out which took out all the weaker hands on the long side before moving up. On the other hand, if the bears defend the $5,900 to $6,075 level and the virtual currency turns down from there, it will indicate selling by the long position stuck at higher levels and short initiation initiation by traders who anticipate lower levels in the future so what should traders do a new day uh, year to date low shows weakness hence long positions should not be initiated until a bottom is confirmed as the rsi is deep in the oversold territory a short position is also not advisable because a sharp pullback can occur at any time. Due to the uncertainty, it is best to sit out and wait for a few days. If price scales $5,900 and sustains above it, we might attempt to go long once again. Any break above $6,832 will be a confirmation that a new uptrend has started. Until then, the digital currency is at a risk of turning down again. Analysts will mention various lower, lower levels that can be scary, so let's take it one step at a time and act accordingly without being influenced by the noise. Now let's go to the next token here, which is Ripple to USD. Ripple is showing considerable strength and is well above its year-to-date lows. In fact, it did not even fall to its first major support at $0.37185 in the recent carnage, which shows strength. Currently, the Ripple to USD pair is facing resistance at the moving averages. If this cross, the downtrend line is the next resistance. We believe there will be a strong defense of this zone from the bears. After the downtrend line is crossed, the digital currency might move up to $0.565 and above that to $0.625. The flat moving averages and the RSI close to the midpoint suggests a range formation in the near term. On the downside, a break of the uptrend line and $0.37185 will invite selling that can result in a drop to $0.24508. Next that we have here is Ethereum to USD. The bulls are trying to keep Ethereum above the year-to-date lows of $167.32 from September 12. On November 15, the price here, the price dipped to a low of $171.36 where buying emerged. Any break of $167.32 will resume the downtrend, plunging the Ethereum to USD pair to the lower levels of $136 and $110. The 20-day EMA has started to turn down while the RSI is close to oversold levels, which shows that the bears have a firm grip in the near term. However, if the bulls rebound from the support and sustain above $188.35, it will increase the probability of a consolidation. First indication of a new uptrend will appear when the digital currency sustains above, above $249.93. Stellar to USD Stellar continues to trade inside the ascending channel. However, its intraday low of $0.21494424 on November 15 triggered our suggested stop loss at $0.22. For the past two days, the bulls have bought aggressively on a sharp dips, which is a positive sign. This shows that the buyers are using lower prices to add to their position. The moving averages are currently flat and the RSI is close to 50 levels, which points to a consolidation in the short term. 
if this support line of the channel holds, the stellar to USD pair is likely to move up to the top of the channel. We shall wait for a new buy setup to form before proposing long positions. Next is here. EOS to USD. EOS broke below the support of $4.493 on November 15, but buying at lower levels pushed prices back above it. Currently, the bears are again attempting to break below the support and sink prices to the next support zone of $4.1778 to $3.8723. The downsloping 20-day EMA and the RSI in the negative zone show that the sellers have an upper hand. The downtrend will resume on a decline below $3.8723. If the bulls succeed in defending the support zone between $4.1778 to $3.8723, the EOS to USD pair will extend its stay inside the range. We shall wait for it to stabilize and show signs of a turnaround before turning positive on it. Next is the Litecoin to USD. Litecoin made successive New Year-to-date lows on November 14 and 15, which shows that it is one of the weaker cryptocurrencies. After breaking below the support of $47.246 on November 14, it followed up with a new low the next day, which was close to our first lower target at $40. Though prices have bounced from the lows, the pullbacks or for the pullback lacks strength. Even small intraday rallies are met with strong selling pressure. If the Litecoin to USD pair breaks down of $40, it can slide to the next support at $32. The downtrending moving averages and the RSI in the oversold zone show that the sellers are in command. The first signs of recovery will be when the digital currency climbs back above $50 and sustains it. Until then, every pullback will be sold into. ADA or Cardano to USD Cardano broke below the, uh, below the critical support of $0.060105 on November 15 but the bears could not sustain below the lows. The bulls are currently trying to keep prices above $0.060105 while the bears are attempting to break below it. If the bears succeed, the Cardano to USD pair can slide to $0.043722. However, if the bulls succeed, the digital currency will extend its consolidation in the $0.060105 to $0.094256 range. Monero to USD Monero bounced off the critical support at $81 on November 15, but higher levels are attracting selling by the bears. A break of $81 will resume the downtrend and sink prices towards the lower support at $61.50. If the bulls succeed on holding $81, a pullback to $100.453 is probable. If the price rises above $100.453, the Monero to USD pair might extend its stay in the range. We shall wait for a confirmation that the short-term bottom is in place before suggesting a trade. Tron to USD The bulls have been attempting to keep Tron above the critical support at $0.0183. Any break of this level can result in a fall to $0.015876812, which is the intraday low of August 14. If this level also breaks, the next support to watch on the downside is $0.01095383. dollars 
if the 0 0.0183 dollar level holds the trans usd pair can extend its stay inside the large range of 0 0.0183 dollars to 0 0.02815521 dollars we shall wait for the rebound to show strength before forming a bullish opinion a rally above 0.02815521 dollars will indicate the start of a new uptrend until then we recommend traders stay on the sidelines dash to usd dash is currently attempting to hold the support at 129.58 dollars if the bears break below this level the next stop is $113. If this level also gives way, the slide can extend to $87. The downsloping moving averages and the RSI close to the oversold level shows that the bears have had an upper hand and the path of least resistance is to the downside. However, if the bulls succeed in defending the $129.58 dollar level a rebound to the 20-day ema followed by a move to the downtrend line is possible we shall wait for the dash to usd pair to sustain above the downtrend line before turning positive all right guys so that was it for the price analysis of all of our favorite tokens for the day november 16. so guys what can you say share with us your opinions in our comment section below and of course guys i would just like to um thank you all for watching this video now all of the information provided here is for your news review and education only not financial advices you see here we are not financial advisors and we highly recommend that you do your own research regarding all of the information we provided for you to make decisions for yourself now this channel and this website is simply a gathering of the rumors and research available online each day all right so that's it again thank you so much for watching and if you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates this is once again mia your daily broadcaster signing off and i'll see you some other time guys until then bye and take care